Lizzie. So I'm finally doing my DNA test results. I get so many questions on what my ethnicity is. A lot of people think I look Hispanic. Other people think that I'm Asian, which if you saw my sister and my dad and me without makeup, our eyes are really small. They look Asian. My dad actually has hooded eyelids. I never really got a ton of people thinking I look Hispanic until I started my YouTube channel. And I had my natural hair completely grown out over the past year and a half. And so people were especially saying it when I had my darker hair. So I'm gonna be shocked if I'm only European. So I sent in my DNA through Ancestry.com. This isn't sponsored by them. I wish it was. I tried to get them to sponsor this video and they wouldn't reply to my emails. I think they're just too big of a company. They don't need YouTubers promoting them as well. So I sent it in a little bit before Christmas. It's taken like two months to get back to me, but I got my email saying they got my results in. I got my computer and I'm doing a screen record. So Ancestry DNA, Ancestry.com. I might already be automatically logged in. Okay, here we go. Interesting. I'm only European. Wait, let me see what my ethnicity is. Okay. Great news, Elizabeth. Your results have arrived. Yes, my birth name is Elizabeth. I am only European? Wait. Okay, I do have 1% Benin and Togo in West Africa, 59% England and Northwestern European, 25% Germanic Europe, 15% Scotland, and 1% Benin and Togo. I'm really shocked that my family has zero Asian. I'm just really surprised. Like, especially if you saw my dad and my sister, they don't like their pictures on my YouTube channel. But if you saw them, they totally especially look Asian. So I'm really shocked that we don't have that in my family. So England and Northwestern Europe, primarily located in England. It's also the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg. The history of Britain, the heart of our England and Northwestern Europe region, is often presented as one group of invaders after another, displacing the native population. The Romans, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings, and Normans all left their mark on Britain, both politically and culturally. However, the story of Britain is far more complex. In fact, modern studies suggest the earliest populations weren't wiped out, but adapted and absorbed the new arrivals. So then Germanic Europe, 25%, so I'm German. The dramatic landscape of our Germanic Europe region rises from Dutch and German lowlands along the North Sea through forested uplands to Austria's Alps in the South. The German people were united by language and culture before Germany became a united country in 1871. Known as something, the land of poets and thinkers, Germany is home to some of the oldest universities in the world, and this region has a long tradition of producing world-class scientists, inventors, theologians, mostly Protestant, artists, and composers. Scotland is 15%. With its center in the northern third of the island of Great Britain, but stretching down to Brittany in France, our Scotland ethnicity region is known for its geographical beauty, medieval architecture, and folklore. Gaelic and Scots have influenced regional English dialects and are both still spoken in some areas. National symbols, including the lion rampant, clan, tars, and bagpipes are often recognized internationally alongside symbols of traditional cuisine like whiskey and haggis. Does that mean most of my ancestors were Protestants? So then, in Benin and Togo. For years, anthropologists and others looked at African ethnic groups as being mostly solitary and static. However, historians now know that huge empires and kingdoms with administrations and armies, diplomatic courts, and distant trading partners have long been part of Africa's fabric. This is especially true of West Africa, where migrations, conquests, and intermarriage within allied kingdoms helped explain why, for example, many people from our Benin and Togo regions also have DNA that looks similar to our profile for Nigeria. Okay, so then we go into the Americas and it shows where my ancestors settled into North America. So first we have early New England settlers. You and all the members of this community are linked through shared ancestors. You probably have family who lived in this area for years and maybe still do. Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, nope. 
actually my uncle so my mom's brother lived in boston and my mom was born in connecticut which is sort of in the area but my mom's family her dad was in the military so they traveled all over so then we have early connecticut and new york early connecticut and new york settlers you and all the members of this community are linked through shared ancestors you probably have family who lived in this area for years and maybe still do the more specific places within this region where your family was likely from okay so Connecticut and Northeast New York, Rhode Island, Southern New York, and Northeast Pennsylvania. I was born in Kentucky and my sister was born in Chicago. My dad was born in DC and my mom was born in Connecticut. But my family moved around a ton. Like my dad moved around a ton. My mom's family did. Me and my sister, we've been all over, so. Famine and economic hardship in much of England and Germany caused many to flee to the United States. They were drawn to small villages on the East Coast, finding work in fishing, agriculture, and shipbuilding. Eventually, many moved to urban centers like New York City and Albany. The Erie Canal and later the railroad opened up even more opportunities. Immigrants settled in Michigan, Seattle, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Everywhere they went, the immigrants left their mark because of work ethic and innovative spirit. I just want to know what religion my ancestors were. Were they Protestants or Catholics? lower midwest and virginia settlers you and all the members of this community are linked through shared ancestors you probably have family who lived in this area for years and maybe still do kentucky Ooh, interesting so my ancestors were in kentucky by chance kentucky fever lured one time english german and scott irish immigrants and their descendants further west looking for land Roads, steamboats, and canals helped transform the frontier into settled farms, thriving towns, and even major cities in a matter of decades. The Civil War hit hard, dividing states and sometimes families. The years that followed saw the steady march of generations leaving the land for jobs in manufacturing and oil and taking their roots with them. So those are my DNA test results. This was really eye-opening. I was shocked. I didn't think I would be 99% Western European, but those are my results. Comment below if you have done a DNA test and what you found out through it.